welcome to the first 2011-2012 edition of Coyote Nation TV. I'm Rose Ellison. And I'm Haley Parker. As we enter the first year with the charter class, we also have a year with planned senior activities. Nevi explains more on these events. It's a new year, Kyle, and for the class of 2012, you know what that means. You're finally seniors, which is a big step for you guys and a big step for Heritage. Since it's a busy time of year, I was lucky enough to catch up with some seniors and our faculty to talk about our monumental year. It's a big deal because uh, they're the leaders in the school. Uh, they're the first senior class to graduate from Heritage, and so ever since they've arrived, uh, everything has been set up for this year. Um, the most important thing to me is uh, the lasting impact they leave or the legacy they leave, but uh, we're going to try to make it a special year for each and every one of them. The major event is the bonfire. Of course, we also uh, are going to have a talent show this year, and then uh, Senior Day is a big day, and, and we're uh, uh, obviously planning things for the, for the seniors to have that day as well. I'm excited about being a senior because I'm part of the first part of class. Um, j just knowing that this is kind of like the last go around and knowing that after this is going to be college. So, I mean, it, it's exciting that, you know, we get to uh, be the head of the school and like top class, but it's kind of scary because college is like coming up. I miss the people. Like, I mean, you know, once you go to college, you meet all new people and you get all new friends and you still stay in touch, but you won't be seeing the same people every day. So probably for me personally, the people and also the theater department because, you know, we're kind of awesome. <laughs> What scares me most about senior year is the fact that it's my last year of high school and then I have to go to college and go to the real world. If I had to tell upcoming seniors anything, it would be that make sure you're on top of your college stuff if you're going, and if not, just enjoy yourself because this is the last time that you'll get to. The advice I'd give to upcoming seniors would be to not slack off, be C2G, and have fun as much as possible. If you have any questions about any of the senior activities mentioned in the story, go to the senior webpage at heritagekyles.org. So remember, seniors, make this year unforgettable because it's the only one you'll get. For Coyote Nation TV, I'm Nebby Butcher. Hey, Coyotes, it's not too early to buy your yearbook. To order online, log on to www.jostensyearbook.com and click Buy Your Yearbook. Then it takes you to a screen to type in your school's name, city, and state. It brings you to a screen that asks you to add your yearbook to your cart. Next, you get to personalize your yearbook for an additional fee or hit no thanks to continue. The page asks you for your name, grade, and email address. Once you've completed this, continue on to your billing information. This is where you insert your credit card number and your address. From here, just print your receipt and enjoy your yearbook at the end of the school year. If you want to pay cash for your yearbook, talk to Ms. Pollard in A124. A new charter class also brings the first 4A football team. John Robert gets the inside scoop on how the team is adjusting to these changes. The Kyle football season has started out great with his first rush to win. Why would we not go to the team and coaches to hear more about this upcoming season? Well, the season has already been different because we've experienced our first win, but I think um, this season can be special because we do have a first senior class. Every season pre presents new challenges. This year, the, the main challenge is to regroup and to rebound from what did happen last year. And the heat has been also a major challenge this year. But we've done several things to improve over the course of the off season and summer. One of the, one of the main things we've done is played a lot of seven on seven tournaments. Uh, we've incorporated a little bit new offensive style and got more people involved in our, our passing attack. That's helped us offensively. Uh, defensively, we've um, incorporated a few new schemes and a couple new players and had some people move positions. The main reason we've improved um, is because of our senior class and because of our senior leadership. I think we'll do great this season. The coaches got us ready. They got us all buffed out and faster, stronger, better. Challenges we face this year are just diversity and people like thinking that Heritage is going to be the bottom of the crop, but we're not. We're going to come out on top. To improve, we had off season where we get bigger, faster, stronger. We lift weights. Um, I think the freshman team will do good this year. We got a great potential. Um, academic wise, uh, great point averages, and um, just how the team's going to be affected. Um, we've mainly worked on um, team drills, working on plays. This season I think uh, we'll do very well in playoffs and hopefully playing at state. This year we'll be uh, facing a lot of uh, competitive teams but I still think we can uh, overcome them all. All the things that we've done to improve are things such as um, working on during off season and strength and conditioning camp. And for Coyote Nation TV, I'm John Robert.
As volleyball season begins, the players undergo several changes from last year. Sandra speaks with the captains. As the school year begins, the varsity volleyball season is almost over. The three captains, Kayla Aber, Marcella Musen, and Jen Donald, explain to us their responsibilities as captain and their goals for the season. So my responsibilities as captain is to flip the coin at the beginning of the game along with the, the other two captains on the team. And I'm floor captain, so what I do is if there's an issue on the court, I talk to the up ref. What I'm looking forward to in volleyball this year is to do well in district and make it to playoffs and do very well in playoffs. I like being on varsity because it's a whole different level than playing on JV. You have lots of different challenges and it's just a different pace of a game and so it's, I mean, sure it's harder than anything else, but I like the challenge. Goals, I would say um, definitely want to play in college because it, I, I, I don't see a volleyball player who would want to go through everything that they go through in like middle school or high school and then not want to play in volleyball in college. So I think that'd be the biggest goal and to coach. It's really exciting to be on varsity volleyball this year because everybody stepped up their game and it's going to be really competitive and we're just excited. I think everybody's looking forward to going to playoffs this year, so that's definitely our goal. Hey Coyotes, come support your fellow volleyball players at the next volleyball game. For Coyote Nation TV, I'm Sandra Tenney. That's all we have for today, Coyotes. We thank you for watching. I'm Rose Ellison. And I'm Haley Parker. And, and this, this is Coyote, Coyote Nation TV. TV.